fullness, my dear silver tree seeds. This is in our silver tree here, and uh, I feel so honored and grateful and happy to be able to have this space. So this will be my second attempt <laughs> um, of making a YouTube video, uh, creating a message um, for this platform in a way where I'm facing and speaking to the camera and delivering a message in this way. Um, naturally, I am a, an introvert. However, I have extrovert tendencies when I am doing, creating, moving with people and with individuals. Um, so, yeah, there's so much I want to share. And given, you know, the current situation of, you know, the lockdowns, and everyone is told to stay inside, stay indoors, don't talk to anyone, don't socialize. If you want to go out in public, everything is becoming very regulated and policies and mandates and just all of these rules. And it's very highly structured type of space that I feel like we're in compared to 2020, which was packed with a lot of fear. And now, you know, that fear and anxiety in 2021 is creating this very weird disconnect where people are being pulled away from each other. There's, there's a lack of community. And so past couple of weeks I've been on vacation and um, just really giving myself grace, allowing myself to explore my space and to veg out, to sleep in, to eat out, to, you know, just relax. You know, I, I'm allowing myself to take off this uh, pressure, right? The, that, that cake that we put on of productivity. We have to be doing something. We have to, have to, have to be moving. We have to have purpose behind everything that we do. It's, it's a nonstop. Um, you know, uh, uh, feeling, you know, even though we're, we've been told to slow down, slow everything down, people aren't working like they did before 2020, you know, people aren't going out as much. However, I, I see this lockdown as a huge opportunity and here's why. And please excuse the noise outside. <laughs> it's an airplane. Um, we have an opportunity, okay, before, you know, the whole lockdown, before the, um, COVID-19, you know, before all this whole mess that we all experienced last year, you know, there are many, 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 many lonely people, people without a network, people without family, without friends without that backbone, you know, people who pull themselves up by their own bulls, um, uh, bootstraps. And 2020, meaning your vision, 2020 vision, the vision, there was a revelation last year. All the things that we've kept down, that the human collective has stuffed down, bubbled up to where we couldn't ignore it. Culturally, politically, scientifically, uh, financially, everything just kind of blew up in a way. And this also is connected to, you know, bringing the unseen into the scene. Meaning those people who lacked a community, who lacked connection, who lacked network, now it is time for us to rise and use this opportunity to create the communities that we have desired to experience for a long time. 
you know, whether it be new age, a political, political group, a cultural group, it doesn't matter the demographic of it. It's taking initiative and creating what you seek, creating what you desire really and truly using the tools that you have. Human beings are natural creators. We're natural creators. And I'm not talking just artistic. I'm talking we are innovative. We have this superpower. And so um, my intention with this channel, Runes of Silver Tree, is specifically about spirituality, spiritual growth, sovereignty. But the main point is to develop a relationship with your birthright, your God-given superpowers of self-mastery. When you master the self, nothing can touch you. Nothing can penetrate. Now, self-mastery is a you know, it's always an ongoing journey. It's always evolving. There's many different challenges. Um, what else shall I share? So a little bit about myself. I, my background, oh, it's hard for me to be so vulnerable. <laughs> but, um, let's see. I'm originally from the Midwest. Um, I'm from, you know, a small city in the Midwest and, you know, as a child, I grew up in different parts of the U S and outside the country for a little bit. And, um, I come from a heavily, heavily diverse background regarding religion. Um, I grew up and I was raised as a Muslim American. And you know, in my family, there are Baptists, there are Protestants, there are Jehovah's Witnesses, there are Christians, there are cultists. Um, <laughs> there, it's a beautiful mixture of different paths. And I've come to the understanding that all paths lead to one. So one doesn't favor over the other. Um, my second intention of this channel is to knock down spiritual hierarchy. For the past 10 years on my path, I'm 32 years of age, the past 10, 12 years of my path, I've noticed in the new age community that it's heavily, heavily spiritual, it's hierarchical. You know, you have the woke, most conscious and aware, 5D to the 9th, the 15th D, 5th, dimension and then you have the people who are asleep right the people who are of uh, too much of the earth and my intention is to bring both realms both worlds into balance um, I'm also a musician uh, I had a, at a very young age around six years old I had an op the opportunity of um, being exposed to the classical world, opera, orchestras, um, cathedrals, performances, operatic performances at a, you know at the age of six. My stepfather was part of an opera house uh, located in the East Coast of New York. And um, my mother was very, very much dedicated to art. To fine art you know she did mixed media from oil painting to crafts anything in between very creative mind and so I was exposed to that world at a very young age and it followed me all the way through um, you know uh, elementary school middle school all the way through high school and college, and I will certainly make a video on where my music, my relationship with my music and my dreams and hopes for my music, my music channel. And so, yeah, I play uh, numerous instruments. Um, I started with cello, 
and then I began singing at the age of 16 in high school and in college I um, I studied opera um, that was my major and degree and uh, let's see here then I learned keys um, or piano and after college I picked up the guitar and now I have a great calling to play harp if you watch my other videos on sounds of silver tree you'll notice I have a lyre harp um, if you're familiar with it, it's actually mentioned in one of the holy texts in the Bible. Um, David's Liar, I think, if I'm not sure, King David's Liar, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> but that's what I, I feel called to uh, learn and to master is the harp. So I cannot wait to share my music compositions with you. Um, and I'll definitely dive into sound and sound healing and my aspirations for that and then also spirituality um <laughs> that is another thing that i uh, feel very natural and a uh, calling to it's followed me all throughout my life um, it's been a very long and evolving journey um, and you know i'm going to take my time and not force it not to force so much um, you know with coming up with my concepts and I've actually I've I've it was revealed to me a simpler way to go about this um, this calling uh, to to use runes of silver tree as a channel to discuss um, in my personal opinion very high forms of magic the purest forms of magic, right? And the purest forms of magic are incredibly simple. You don't need a to buy a, buy hundreds of crystals. You don't need to get, you know, uh, two sets of candles. You don't need to get all the sages and the and all that stuff, all that is great. All those beautiful tools work are, are awesome because it physically sets the mood and it, it, it helps to set the energy in, in a very, very balanced way. However, in my journey, what I found when it comes to um, working with energy manipulation or magic, um, it can cloud. The purpose of what you're doing so I will get into in other videos how to simplify your approach to uh, energy manipulation or magic so um, I have no shame about this and <laughs> it's taken me a long time to come to this space of opening up in this way um, given that I was raised in a very stringent religion um which i find islam is one of the most beautiful uh, paths that i've ever been exposed to christianity is also very beautiful judaism and hinduism paganism is also very beautiful but i also believe that we can tune into our own system we are born with it and everything outside of ourself is just a map islam is a map christianity is a map Paganism is a map. Occultism is a map. Even atheism leads you right back to yourself, which that's what we're here for. We're here to evolve ourself, the self, the cell, right? So, um, as far as my rune readings, um, I'll save that for another video. But I want to get into the purest form of magic, the purest form of love. You don't need to buy it. I'm not going to charge you 500, 300, a thousand dollars for this, these tips I'm going to give you. Um, this is something where it's a bit more of a challenge because you have to, it's all about self in, initiating these spiritual practices or different um approaches okay to this it's 
it's different and it's simple. We're multifaceted, multidimensional, we're chaotic, we are all over the place as human beings because we bring in so much into each life form, into each existence. We carry the history in our blood of our ancestors, we carry the traumas, we carry the memories, we carry the social engineering, we carry so much already. So why make something so simple, so complex? <laughs> why expose, you know, something that's so complex, you know, to another system that's very complex and that just, it, it induces more confusion. So I am here to bring a more simple application and I want us to focus on the purest form of magic. Now you may wonder, well, you know, Silver Tree, what do you mean? What is the, the, the purest form of magic? There are many different forms of energy manipulation. You can call it the left-handed path or shadow work, light work. There's so many different modalities, but this is just using the simple form and the purest form that I am suggesting is tuning what is already there and unlocking what is already there. You don't have to even go out and, you know, go to a spiritual seminar or a retreat, you know, only if you feel, if you feel called to pack up your bags and go to India, go to India because that is your essence. It's telling you to do so. That is source. That is spirit. That is your purpose. That is your path. If you feel called to study crystals for a period of time, you do that. If you feel called to get rid of every single spiritual tool, to get rid of every single book and to start fresh, start anew, you do that. That's more of my alley. I like to just simplify everything because there's so much going on in here and I just really want to just narrow in and focus and concentrate. Um, but the purest form of magic can unveil in a way, unveil things in a way that centers you and that grounds you. It digs deeper. It is not superficial bullshit. Ooh, just love it away. Just love it away. No, sometimes you gotta dig. You gotta take that shovel and poke at, and, and poke in the in the in the shadow a little bit. You know, sometimes you have to do that, and it's not easy. The simplest form, I think, the simplest form of energy manipulation is probably one of the most challenging ways. Of self-initiation so the purest form of love is 